One of the ways to use Google Maps inside our Vue.js 3 project is using Vue 3 Google Map NPM package. In this lecture, you're going to learn how to show Google Maps on the browser with the marker using that package. The first step is to install the Vue 3 Google Map NPM package to our project. Here is the simple Vue.js 3 project that I have opened up in the Visual Studio Code editor. If you want to learn how to get started with Vue.js 3, I have a separate video that covers that. The link is in the description below. Okay, open up the terminal window and run the following command, npm space i space view 3 hyphen google hyphen map. Once it's installed, the second step is to define Google map component. To do that, inside the app.view component, which is the root component of this project, get rid of everything and add script tags in their import define component from the view package, like so. Also import Google Map component from the view 3 Google Map NPM package that I have just installed. So import Google Map from view 3 hyphen Google hyphen map. Now let's create a view component using define component function. So export default define component, opening closing parenthesis, then pass the JavaScript object with the property components. Then I'm going to pass the Google map component I just imported in there. At this stage, we have successfully created a view component that includes Google map component. The third step is to render map on the browser using Google map component. So inside the template, define starting and ending Google map tags. And we need to add API key attribute. This is very important because without the API key, the map won't show up properly on the browser. I have a separate video that covers how to get the API key from the Google Cloud Console. The link is in the description below. Here's my API key and replace it with yours. Also add a width and height so that the map will be visible on the browser. Let's add a zoom attribute to it as well. This will determine how much the map will be zoomed in. I'm going to set to five for now. Let's run the app and the map appears on the screen. Nice. The fourth step is to center the map based on a specific location. In my case, I'm going to choose Ottawa, Canada. To do that, create a constant called center inside the setup function. The center constant is a JavaScript object with two properties, lat and long, a short form for latitude and longitude. And the value is going to be these two numbers which represent Ottawa city. Finally, return the object so that I can use it inside the template. Let's bind the center object inside the template tag as an attribute. So colon center equals center in quotes. Head over to the browser. Now the map is centered by Ottawa. Nice. Let's zoom the map a bit. So change this value of zoom attribute from five to 10. Looks better. The fifth step is to add a marker to the map. For that, let's import another component called marker from view three Google map NPM package, then add it inside the component object. Finally, use the marker component inside the template so it can be rendered on the browser. So marker, which is a self-closing tag and add the options attribute to configure the marker. Let's use the position option with the value center, which is the center object declared here. So the marker is going to show the center because I use the same geographical coordinates to center the map as well as adding a marker. Hop over to the browser and the marker is centered in the map perfectly. That's awesome. If you have any question or suggestion for the next video, feel free to comment below. And if you want to learn more about Google Maps API with Vue.js, check this video next. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.